Hi everyone, welcome back to another video here on the channel. As you see in my previous video, I had to change the alternator on the Mark 4 Mondeo. But in this one, I'm going to be doing a diesel leak off test on it because it's developed a little bit of a hesitance, a bit like a misfire, which I believe could be down to the, the uh, injectors because the car's on 200k miles. So, you know, and one's been replaced before I bought the car. So normally when one starts going at that high mileage, then they all normally will need replacing. So I'm gonna do a quick leak off test just to confirm it and see if there's any problems. The problem is in intermittent, it doesn't happen all the time. Um, it's just like when you're under load, uh, it, it hesitates, it pulls back. Like I say, it's like a misfire, like a petrol when you, when you change spark plugs and stuff like that, and it's all done. But with a diesel, it'd be like the, the injectors, it could be the glow plugs, things like that. So I'm gonna flip the camera, crack on with this one, and hope, hopefully you enjoy it. Okay, so I've got the leak off test here. I've got everything out, ready to go. Okay, I've already got one tapped in down here. Cause I was just checking what connectors I'm gonna need for this. And it's number two, which is these little brass bits. Okay. I've also got myself some spare clips in case any of these decide they're going to pop off because they're very fiddly little bits so if these pop off I've got some spares and I've got a few little um, pliers to help so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to disconnect this hose here and this hose here so it'll give me a bit more room to get down there there and there and then we're going to attach like so okay and then what we're going to do is we're going to run the car for a little while i'm looking for a slow steady flow of diesel coming up you know one two three four five but if it's a constant drip then obviously the in it indicates that that um, injector is at fault this is the injector that got replaced just before i bought the car a couple of years ago so and it's done 200k miles now so these should basically really be all replaced so let's have a look and see what goes on with the flow test i'm going to remove these two hoses first yeah. just tuck them down out of the way So how I checked what connections to use is when I pried the first one off I went through all the connectors in the kit and just checked them side by side and number two seems to be a close fit, a close match. So we'll go with them ones. As you see I've got one in already so I've just got to disconnect the other ones. As you can see this pin just here. And what I find a good way to do is use a couple of flathead screwdrivers, put one down the back, okay, and just release the pressure on it like that. The screw the flathead down the back stops it actually coming out so you don't lose the pin, and then use like a trim removal tool and just Prize the pipe out if it wants to come out that is or oh, a little pick that 
Yeah. Just pulled it up out of the way. Then pop that in there. Quite simple. Then get your line from your test. Just connect it. that and that's two done okay so you've got three and four done so let's do number one here number two the same way Okay, so with them all plumbed in and ready to go, I've got the bottles here, one, two, three, four. Okay, and what we're looking for is just a slow drip from each one. But if any one of these fill up quicker than the others, then it could indicate there's a problem. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna start the car up and see what happens. And I'll just drop something down the back. These lines are all the same length. And it looks like number one and number four here are going to be filling up quicker than the rest. Oh, there we go, number three. Number one. Oh, too far. We've got, yeah, look. Number two, that's the one that was replaced before I bought the car. But look how quick these are dripping out. That. So, I'd say 
get them replaced and see what happens. But that's the leak off test done. So uh, there you go, number two is just beginning to fill now. See if I can stand this up a little bit. See number one, number three and number four are filling up quite quickly. Let's turn the engine, give it another couple of seconds. If you look at number two there, it's just a drip, 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 drip. But what I'll do is I'll end up just replacing all of them anyway. At least if I replace them all, I know they're all good. The 200,000 miles, you know. So let's turn the engine off now. And have a look at this with the engine off. So I shut the engine off. There's been a little bit of diesel spill out as you see when I pop the pipe, the return pipe off. But number one, three and four were definitely the faster flowing one. Number two was replaced before I bought the car. But like I said, I'm gonna replace them all. I think at 200,000 miles, the car warrants some new injectors so, and then we'll see if it does the same problem. So we'll do, this is before the injectors were replaced, okay? So, I would say that confirms that maybe there's problems with the injectors on the car, which would cause that slight misfire judder type feel you get when as you're driving along. Um, it has thrown it into limp mode once or twice, between when getting it and now um, but it, it's it's one of these jobs that I've ignored because it's not all the time um, but it's beginning to do me you know wind me up a little bit when I'm trying to drive and all of a sudden it judders so I can only describe it as a misfire um, but hopefully this will show you just you know how to do a bit of a leak off test on your car on the Mondeo Mark IV. The process is similar for other cars as well on the Mark III Mondeos and all sorts if it's a diesel. Um, it's not a bad piece of kit. Um, it's about £30 I believe. I'll put a link to one in the description. It's sweating out. It's so warm. It's something like 30 degrees. Let me have a look. Yeah. On here. The red mark is banging next to the 30 degrees. So, the ST is coming along as well, just so you know. Um, but as you see, the video is coming up. I've dropped the subframe, as you've seen some, from some of the um, photos I've been putting online, that I'm debating whether to get a new subframe and complete new like, bars and everything else, suspension arms and just completely replace it um, get them poly bushes out of it and get get it done all new then isn't it um, but if you, you know let me know what you guys would do with that um, let me show you what it looks like at the moment so this is what it looks like at the moment I'm going to get these poly bushes out um, I have started to sand it back with the angle grinder and get rid of a lot of the rust replace i'm going to replace these arms here on both sides get new bolts and everything for it as well so let me know what you you you'd got you guys would do with that 
carry on refurbing it get rid of much of the rust as I can treat it and then spray it back up so that's another video done the next one I promise after this in a couple of weeks will be the ST video doing this has delayed me a little bit uh, because the previous video I had to change the alternate on the Mark IV so you know these jobs got to be done as well so I'm going to say bye for now and hopefully see you in the next video ciao oh one quick thing if you're a new subscriber hit the subscribe button consider leaving a like as well bye for now